All right, so a lot of you already know we build a trailer called the Glenridge Sub Zero trailer. So what we got here, this is not a Glenridge Sub Zero, but what it is is a customer actually bought this trailer. They had it insulated, brought it to us because they wanted us to put a reefer on it. So we we did that. Problem is the trailer sat in our facility for about six months, probably waiting for them to make a decision. And what ended up happening was once they seen the Sub Zero, they said, look, "Look, we don't want this thing. Please do what you can." Uh, we want the sub zero, so we ended up building them one and selling them one of those. This thing here, we're going to kind of go around because what happens is if I refrigerate, we insulate, and then put a liner in a trailer, it costs the same no matter if I use one of these or we use a sub zero trailer. So if you're going to invest that kind of money, and it is a large amount of money to invest, if you're going to invest that kind of money, you want it into a trailer that's going to last you. We're going to look because a lot of cooler trailers are built with just regular utility trailers and then guys insulate them and stuff and we're going to look at some of the shortfalls of this this trailer has basically been on the road maybe three times came from the dealer went to this guy he brought it to us and then i brought it here to my house uh, to use it just to test out this reefer system we're using it as a 12 volt reefer system we bought it off the guy we're testing it out as a demo we're using it as a demo to show off the 12 volt reefer system we installed and we'll talk about that in a different video but anyways, this video here, if you come over here around to the side here, actually, we'll go around the front here. We'll just walk around the front of this trailer. If you look at this trailer here, you take a look at the panels. Okay, the panels on these things are very thin. Take a look at that. Look at that there. You can see the flexing of the panels. They're not secured well at all. And that means you're going to get all kinds of moisture in there, deteriorating your foam insulation. Uh, the other problem you'll have with these trailers one, I'm not overly impressed with the roofs on them, but two is uh, you'll see the screws popping off on the dang things. And anybody who knows anything about these utility trailers knows that's actually a very common problem for these type of trailers. Again, we go back to here, you see the panels are not really secured very well to the side of the trailer. It leaves all kinds of room for leaks and water to get in. That's a problem. Now, one of the things, I'm gonna just take the camera here for a second, and I'm gonna show you underneath quickly. So what we do here is we look underneath this trailer and what do you see? It's plywood. The trailer's made three trips on the road and it's already rusting out the frame and stuff. And uh, that's what you're getting. Now that plywood is not gonna last very long. And you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a, a cheap trailer and that's what people are paying for. But it's not what you wanna have as your refrigerated trailer. As I say, we go around we check out this thing, there's all kinds of rust and stuff going on. We actually had an electrical issue. And as I said, the, the screws are all popping off. This trailer's only been on the road three times. It's never made a trip for anything to deliver anything at all. And we look over here even, you know, and you can see this here, you know, this here piece is popping off. If you're going to invest the money into a refrigerated trailer, which is probably gonna cost you with the reefer the insulation's expensive. You're probably paying for good insulation, probably about five dollars a square foot for each square foot that goes around the entire trailer. The liner we use is the same thing. So you're talking ten dollars a square foot, just the material, and then the reefer system, which is going to cost you over five thousand dollars to put a reefer in one of these. You want to invest it in something that's going to last you twenty years, not something that's going to last you five years.